We are heading out of Stonewall Jackson Camp number 249 in Holiday, Texas. That was a good spot for an overnight stay. I wouldn't stay here more than a night. Uh, there are ball fields here unless you're into playing ball or I don't know what else you'd do here. I almost wish that I would have peeked out my window when that vehicle pulled up early morning. It would have been nice to know if it was a police officer. Yeah, very peaceful. Only the sound of the coyotes. I have this feeling like they don't even lock the gate. Let's see if there's even a lock on it. Yeah, there's not even an actual lock on it. Unless they bring it with them. Oh no, there is. It looks fairly new as well. Let's double check. Close. Close between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. And if you need assistance, there's a phone number. <clears throat> so maybe if you are locked in and something comes up, you need to get out. They're able to come open it up for you. I'm not sure. All right, we are off to the next camp. Texas, population 248. Wow, not a whole lot in this town. Sheriff's office. That was it. That was Benjamin. cotton plant. I'll be danged. Just like a cotton ball. Very cool. Well now I know where cotton country is. It has been nothing but cotton fields pretty much the whole day of driving. I'm gonna go on to the next town uh, over. It's west. I believe it's called Leveland. It's like there's a free RV park. Well, it's free for the first couple nights. So we'll see how that is. I believe it's off the 385. So much cotton. Leveland, Texas, population 1300, 13,000. I gotta keep a look out here. I got about a half mile. Smells like oil. Right next to a little oil pump thing. Okay, this looks like it. Wow, they actually have hookups here. Free hookups. I'm trying to think if I need power for anything. This is really more of an RV park, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spot. Ooh, look at this, right over here. That says van spot right there. Oh, my door's away from the road. 
Nice. No bathrooms or anything, but they do have power and water. Free the first two nights, then they prefer that you pay after that. So that'll work for me. All right, so I'm here at this RV park. Gonna stay here for a night. This is my little spot over here. Pulled into a little area that doesn't have hookups, says to not take up a hookup space because I don't need them. Looks like there's a total of seven hookup spots. There's one, two here, and then five over here. There are a couple fifth wheels here. As you can see, they're nice big pull-through spots, so can really accommodate up to any size rig. Very nice. They do have a free dump station as well. Each site has electricity and water, 50 and 30 amp. Of course, the only drawback during the day is that you're right by this road. You can hear all the traffic. From what I read on freecampsites.net, some of the comments, this road apparently after dark pretty much dies down and there's like no traffic at all. So very cool. I was reading the park rules here. Uh, they basically gives you three nights free, one stay per month, which is very cool. And I guess the whole idea really is to stimulate the town of Loveland. So, you know, they're hoping that you're going to go in and spend some money in their town, which I will do. I'm going to stay here tonight and I'll stop in there tomorrow probably find a market to do some shopping to help contribute it to their economy. And the RV dump is over here, the dump station, sewer dump. Very cool. And I was reading here in some instances, you have to go to the city hall in town and request if you want to stay extra days. It is $25 per each additional day after your third free night. Although as far as being right here at camp, there's really nothing to do um, except drive into town. So I've got my fill of driving for the day. So I'm just gonna hang out, relax, work on dinner this evening. So we'll show you guys what that's all about. Oh, they do have trash dumpsters as well, which is awesome. Perfect for me to just relax for the afternoon after a few hours of driving, place to cook up, sleep for the night. And it's free. Little view outside the kitchen window here. It's about 60 degrees here, so it's a little cool. There's a nice breeze. I'm gonna go ahead and get some dinner going here. So once, once I get started, I'm gonna open up my door to get some ventilation. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I picked this up at Walmart. They had a wide selection of different types of these. 250 for the packet. And it's basically, this is a chicken tikka masala. It comes with three different packets. One is a sauce, one is a special seasoning for the chicken, and then it comes with a little herb packet. It's got like a pepper and some other herbs in there. So I am gonna actually, as it suggests on the back, you can do this vegetarian. Instead of using chicken, just substitute vegetables. So I'm gonna do that because I don't have chicken. I'm gonna do up my rice in the pressure cooker because it just makes it so much faster and saves a lot of fuel and it usually comes out pretty good. So I'm gonna get a cup of rice measured out here. And I'm gonna go in with one and a half cups of water. Okay, and for my veggies, I have some cauliflower, some broccoli, some carrots, and then these sliced port portobello mushrooms. I'll probably slice these up into smaller cubes, and that'll be the veggies. Okay, so now we're going to add this ginger garlic paste to the veggies and mushrooms. Give them a good coating before we fry them up. Alright, so the rice is done, so I'm going to pull that off and let that cool. And it's still pretty much cooking while it's cooling. So we'll get the veggies on over here. So we've stir fried the veggies. Now it's time to add the sauce packet. All right.
right, now it's time to check on the rice. Oh, perfect. Nice. Awesome. All right, now it's time to serve up the veggies. That sauce is so flavorful. I already tried some of it. Oh my goodness. Gotta watch out for those spices in there. So there's the finished product there. Got it served over a bed of rice. The rice turned out perfect. Oh my gosh, that turned out so good. The veggies are nice and tender. The flavor of the sauce is just amazing over the rice. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. So there it is, doing Indian cuisine in a van.